Dr. Bap coming in with our final segment for this morning. It's all about rum popo and who better to tell us all about it than Kojak Smith. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Thanks morning. for having me, guys. Um, thank you for coming back and, of course, gracing us with your yearly presence of rum popo. You're saying I have my favorite flavor this year and I'm very sad. Yeah, we but can't show for have one. other flavors. Yes, we have our new flavor that pretty much started this year, the dark chocolate peppermint, and that's what we'll debut this year. Okay. So, I already got word from the staff as well as yourself <laughs> that peppermint's your favorite, so <laughs> hopefully I'm a hit this year. We are saying, we are saying, but for those of us that really enjoy your classic rum popo, what else do you have on the shelf this Christmas? This year we have five flavors that we're pushing this year. We have the classic vanilla, the pumpkin spice, the dark chocolate peppermint, okay. Ghirardelli, white chocolate with hazelnut mm -hmm. and then we have a full vegan wow vegan again you did yes. that last year and then you also did the um uh the keto yes, diet we did the keto, kind of yeah. we, didn't, we didn't do the keto again this year mm -hmm. but we have made some changes to the vegan mm -hmm. um upon customers requests okay um like for all our popo, we do do customization for different customers um you have customers that maybe not don't want any eggs or mm -hmm. but still want the dairy so we shift it up and just always hit us up on our page or or whatsapp 632 2622 and you're able to get any customization that you want just give us enough time to do it let me ask a question here kojak what got you started with rum popo for persons who don't know you in that light mm -hmm. um to be honest it's something that we stumbled into mm -hmm. i did a couple bottles for christmas party where i used to work mm -hmm. and staff liked it next year they asked me to do it again and i told them i didn't have much time and they gave me incentive <laughs> and said well we buy a bottle yeah. so i was like all right cool and the next year we just decided all right well maybe we could do it and consistently do it and mm -hmm. really started turning it into a business so came up with a name and after that we started to push the product and it's gotten to where it is most of our most of our marketing was word of mouth mm -hmm. so it's gotten better now we do facebook ads and other things as such and coming on the show mm -hmm. so we're here now 12 years later we're here now 12 nice. years yeah, in the making yeah, yeah. of rum popo how do you keep your um your flavors uh relevant and and different from other um companies that make rum popo? well we try to keep the flavor consistent with mm -hmm. something close to christmas or something close to that feeling so i mean for for example last year we did the sorrel yes and this year we're doing the dark chocolate peppermint you know candy canes are normally synonymous yeah. with christmas so we yeah. said let's add that little peppermint flavor with the chocolate and hence we got the dark chocolate peppermint so you are here on set not just mm -hmm. to talk rum popo yes. but also to make rum popo and maybe christmas breakfast yes we <laughs> have a little we have a little extra at the end of the We'll do, we'll do the rum popo first, mm -hmm. and I have a little surprise for you guys that we'll add in as well. All right, All right. so you're going to be divulging your secrets this morning on live. Yes, Tell fully <laughs> getting everything out there and making you know the full secret so anybody else could make it. Yeah. Right. So we add eggs. Okay, first step. You know, sometimes I, I would um, have a glass of rum popo, and sometimes I taste this this egg consistency and i don't really want that you know, mm -hmm. so then what do you do different to make sure that i don't taste that no that's a little secret that i never give out though <laughs> that's that the secret yeah, everybody yeah. want to know <laughs> well if the, you're making an egg and mm -hmm. you're tasting the egg overwhelmingly something is up yes. Yes. yes so you just add uh, what we did add you the, just we add the chocolate chocolate no we're adding the liquor um you guys could stop me whenever you <laughs> We do have the drive after this. You, you'll be okay, you'll be okay. <laughs> so, rum, egg, chocolate. We're adding the little peppermint. The peppermint. Little extra. Then we add the sweetener. Sweetener. And this is also the, the, the liking of the person, yes. the customer. Mm -hmm. But how, you could how always sweet do, do you too. normally Um, oh. What I do, I, do, I add it to what could best hide the rum mm -hmm. and add the flavor and brings out the different flavor and the seasoning in the yeah. rum popo. Right. Yeah. You don't want to short anything right. so that's the dif difference that we try to keep in our rum popo making sure that we have consistent quality mm -hmm. and flavor so we only use the best ingredients that's out there so now milk yes adding the milk okay yeah have a full rum popo session this and is the best enjoyed chilled yes right? definitely i have rice to put over it as well all right and then we we just blend you have to have a, a strong blender yes Thank <laughs> you. 
Look like chocolate milk. And that's exactly how it comes off well. <laughs> This one just takes a little while longer because it's just to make sure this chocolate is all fully. Right. And you also have to keep that consistency of flavor and making sure they still taste like rum cocoa. Yes, that's right? it right there. Thanks very much, April. You have a little malfunction here. You know what? That's it's the, overflowing of the, <laughs> the overflowingness of Christmas is not a bad thing. So let's get our little glasses together. So you've been in service, well, you've been in this business for about 12 years, you said. Mm -hmm. What um, are you planning to do differently? Can we see Kojak from Popo in the stores? Well, we're trying to get in the stores, but we're more focused on getting it online, just getting it online, customers getting it online. And so that's what we're doing right now. But the stores is definitely something we want to do. Yeah. And what we have done as well is partnering with other businesses okay. for example we partner with that box okay. the donut shop yes yeah. and they did an coach up some trust from popo infused donut okay so what? it's available right now there their um offices at belt beaman avenue yeah, yeah. beaman avenue so you could get it and try it right there wow kojak rum popo flavored has, donuts how has public interest grown over the years in terms of your product and people being able to access your product the thing is is that like I said, we started out with word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Yes, here you go. Thank you. And it has grown over the years. Mm -hmm. But first, I'll get to that first. But I want you guys to give the <laughs> tasting on, on the air. Then we'll get to that question. Cheers. Wonderful. Definitely taste the peppermint. Definitely taste the chocolate. <laughs> and of mm -hmm. course, the rum. <laughs> yeah. It's so, excellent, bro. It is Thanks excellent. And I appreciate Thank you. As always, because he always brings it. So for your question, we've we've gotten more interest over the years and yeah. we've expanded our line and what we try to do is keep consistency. Mm -hmm. So we come up with different flavors just to make, make sure that we're still a cut or ahead of everything yeah. else. Yeah. yeah. So when you when you begin to prep for Christmas season, when from, do you start? From the season before. From the season before. <laughs> so when you said, oh, we had to shelf my green apple yeah. and my sorrel. It was because you, you got the interest from customers and you said, okay, so what do I do differently for next year? Yes. So the thing is, is that a lot of time people probably just think that we just come up with these recipes or these flavors on the fly. Yeah. yeah. But we, no, I'll use that right now. But we actually sit and think about these things beforehand and making sure that everything is okay. Okay. So we normally prepare from the season before to get a new yeah. flavor, to add something. For example, we also do decorative holiday bottles. Mm -hmm. These these are our gift sets. This is for $55. This is for $55, $35, and $75. So we do corporate gifts. Yeah. Oh, wow. um, if you have someone special that you want to give around Popo, we also just have these with nice gift tags as well. I love the packaging. And it's we really do partner pretty. with um, MJ's Wish that do black yeah. fruit cake and white cake as well. So you go. could get a complete package from us. And, and a white cake, cake or a black fruit cake. Yes, definitely. Lovely. So what are you making for us right now? All right, this is a surprise I was telling you guys about. <laughs> So, Christmas breakfast. Yes, what we also did this year was we did rum popo milkshakes. Okay. As well as eggnog. Yeah. So not really Christmas breakfast if you don't want to. Close breakfast. enough. Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So ice, mm -hmm. ice cream. Ice cream. What flavor? Ice cream. Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Because we're going to do the same chocolate peppermint. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just make it in the form of a of a milkshake. Yes. Ice. And we've started this, and customers really like it. All right. I mean, the prices vary. The prices for the classic vanilla is twelve dollars, and any other flavor mm -hmm. is fifteen dollars. Oh, okay. You use this right now. Yeah. All right. Okay. Wait, so I, I gather, I gather <laughs> for you, Kojak. You must be experimenting with different flavors, flavors. every so often because yep, to come up time. with something new and fresh every year, and you have to be in the lab, so to speak, right? To. And exactly. not just something exactly. new and fresh, but something new and fresh that would allude to the season, right? Because mm -hmm. you could just make flavors, yeah. but it has to be in line with what Christmas is. And that is not a lot of selection to choose from, or is it? It's, 
it's kind of difficult at times, mm -hmm. but we do work on it and we put, we have a little host of persons, um, family and friends that we yeah. do the taste testing and run yeah, surf precisely. back. So, I mean, it's a family business and we do get our friends to be involved to help mm -hmm. us out as well. So if I am a customer that wants a particular flavor, mm -hmm. do I just contact you even if you don't have it in the selection? Yes, we do. We do yeah. That's a powerful mix. As is, I have a customer contacted me yesterday and wanted a special flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how we, many customers have to call you for make you get, for make we could get that? Flavor? No, because it, I would imagine that it takes some time, right? It takes some time, but it it was a basic flavor that I that you should shelved. have done long a long time ago. But I try not to do it. <laughs> but the thing is, is that the if it's worked well, mm -hmm. then we do it. Because okay. customer wanted several bottles, so we okay. just... Okay, yeah. so it's not like I could call you and say make one bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. It wouldn't be feasible. feasible. Not at all, yeah. not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everything has to make financial sense. Yep. That's true. Sustainability is important. Mm -hmm. He has a company to run anyway. Yeah. So now we are looking at the rum, peppermint rum popo milkshake. Milk yeah. All right. Lovely, and of course, you have to have the Christmas glass and everything <laughs> involved. Oh, okay, whipped cream too. This isn't Christmas breakfast, this is a like Christmas um, treat. <laughs> so, I mean, you could always have it at home with your mm -hmm. hammer and your cake. With the tamales? Well, some people do do tamales. <laughs> I mean, give them something to unwrap on Christmas Day, right? <laughs> Of course, That's bringing it all, have, right? That you'd have tamales on Christmas Day. Yeah. <laughs> You've never had tamales on Christmas Day? No, no, no. Oh, wow. That the, like, Christmas breakfast, you have to have boyos in the morning? No? See, okay, definitely a kayo thing. You're, you're learning no, something different. Definitely a kayo different. thing. Because that is something that you do um, <laughs> Boxing Day and Christmas morning. You have your tamales with your rum popo. You know, it's we'll accept that it's traditional. Yes, maybe, maybe yeah, probably not our for, right. Of tradition, so definitely but something but tradition, kayo, yeah. kayo. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure like they fight about mm -hmm. what the boyos, what the tamales, that one thing every Christmas. <laughs> All right, so rum, popo, milkshake. milkshake. Let's let's see if you pass the test to me. I think I'm sure you did. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's really delicious. Yeah, appreciate it. All you did All right. was add ice cream, but it just made a whole world <laughs> that, of a difference. I'll need to um, send on your recommendation. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. This is good. This, this is, really, is certainly really good. good. Both so of them are. Where can we find Kojak Rampopo to order your Rampopo right now? On our Facebook page, Kojak, Kojak. Sumptuous Rampopo. Okay. Or 632 2622 mm -hmm. or WhatsApp number. You could just order at any time. We have everything available now. If it is that we do run out at that point in time, mm -hmm. by the next day we could provide you with it. Do you it. have okay. different um, prices for certain um, sizes of bottles? Yes, we have price. The prices vary for the flavors and the size as well. All right. So, so for example, price. the classic vanilla is twenty-five dollars. The pumpkin mm -hmm. spice is thirty-five dollars. The dark chocolate with peppermint is forty. Mm -hmm. The vegan is forty, and the Ghirardelli white chocolate with hazelnut is forty as well. Oh, okay. Right. And Shipping work countrywide? We ship countrywide through BPMS. Um, mm -hmm. We do charge delivery within the city, $5, mm -hmm. and you just pay COD for the BPMS shipment or through Tropic Air. Um, yeah. Online banking? Yes, we do do online banking as well. Well, Kojak, thank you so Excellent. much again yeah. for gracing Thanks for us having with your us. presence. Thank you for it. this new milkshake. I mean, I don't have to buy the milkshake from mm -hmm. you now that I've seen what you did. Mm -hmm. I just not put ice cream in there. At the end of the day, you're still buying a bottle from us in order to get the milkshake. Very, very true. Get your Kojak <laughs> so, so Even if you see what he has done, I'll you forget. have to have the touch. That's true. That's true. Exactly. That, that's, exactly. that's, that's true. That's very, very true. Yeah. But we do do the milkshake um, on weekends mm -hmm. and we're having a pop-up shop. We'll be at the Smiling Meat pop-up shop this nice. Saturday. Okay. So you could definitely come out and get milkshakes and rum popo as well. And we sell the rum popo by the glass as well. Perfect. Oh, lovely. Excellent. Thank well. you so much, Kojak, for coming in. Appreciate I it. hope that we get to see more of your bottles throughout the year and not just around Christmas. Yes, we do it throughout the year. We do it throughout <laughs> the year. Yes, that's not an issue. And with that, we're going to take our final break. I will be right back for wrap up. Stay tuned.